and courts throughout the state have been empty for 10 months and it's having a big impact on many kids trying to get into college. Today we caught up with one star quarterback whose dream to play on a big stage might be cut short. This is what Ryan Cook was hoping college recruiters would see this season. Him playing quarterback so he can earn a scholarship to play for a football powerhouse. Especially when you love the sport and kind of want to be those guys. So um, when I was younger, it started to become a dream of mine and you know, I've always just worked for it. Cook hasn't played a game in more than a year and he is relying on videos like this to get the attention of college scouts. So far, it hasn't paid off. I've been working my butt off. You know, this was supposed to be my moment. Cook is one of thousands of high school athletes in the state who are struggling to get recruited by major colleges. The land of enchantment is one of four states that is not playing high school or youth sports due to COVID-19. It's really closing a lot of doors for athletes who, you know, this senior year was their last shot. This was their last opportunity to play, you know, show that they have some skill. Cook, who sat the bench his junior year behind another star quarterback, has received four offers from small division three schools and none of them have scholarship money. That means he is going to have to pay to play. I feel like especially for athletes here in this state, it's taught a lot of resilience. The big schools have already given out their spots to kids from states like Texas and Arizona who did play this fall. It bothers me um, because, you know, New Mexico's already at a disadvantage. Recruiters already don't look here and for us to miss out on a season in a place that's playing right next to us, not even right next to us, all around us. It's just a punch in the gut. Brittany Hope, KOAT Action 7 News. The New Mexico High School Activities Association was planning to play fall sports in the spring. So far, no schedules have been published. On Action 7 News Live at 6, we talked to the head of the State Soccer Association about how players are traveling out of state to play so they can get noticed by recruiters.